and welcome to my reality Jeep life with me, the Vermont Jeep girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. That's right, tomorrow I'll be leaving for Akron, Ohio for a few days, and old Lola here, she needs her oil changed. You've seen me do it before, it's going to be easy. I've already pulled Lola's uh, drain plug and she's draining the oil out now into a container underneath. I'm going to pop her hood now so I can take care of the oil filter. Now that I've removed my old oil filter, I'm ready to put my new oil filter on. Put this guy back on here. Make sure that you don't cross thread it. And I'm going to hand tighten a little bit. Okay. Tight enough. And what I gotta do is I gotta screw my sensor back in that I took out to get out of the way. And you go. Pocket to tighten that sensor. Just need to plug it back in. Snapped into place. Now you're ready to refill the engine. Now that she's all drained, she has her new oil filter on. Put the drain plug back inside the oil pan underneath. This oil was riding inside my Jeep, so it got a little dirty, but she's brand new oil. I'm gonna dump her in here. While the oil is draining down inside, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my air filter since I'm here. filter inside. Uh oh. Okay, as you can see, my old air filter here is pretty nasty looking. And I'm going to put this clean one in and it may even help me in my long trip. A little better fuel mileage. I'm going to set that back in the box. Alright, now we got to line this guy back up. my air box back together here. One side is a hinge and she fits so tight in here. Once you get the one side, of course the aftermarket radiator seems to take up that space too. I don't, I don't know. This is what it is I suppose.
see. Let's take a peek at the brake fluid. She's perfect. Can't really, like I said, I'm not too happy with this aftermarket radiator, the way the fill cap is. You can't really see it. I do see it in there, so she hasn't been running hot. She's good. So let's see. New air filter. The brake fluid. Change the oil. Perfect. One oil change complete. I will dump my old stuff that came out of the engine into old cat containers, kitty litter containers, and take that to the recyclable dump. I feel better now that Lola's fluids are checked and changed. It gives me a little more peace of mind, especially going so far from home. And I look forward to my trip. It's going to be fun. Hoping to come out there and I got quite a few offers to come out and I'm hoping to get some interviews for my every off-roader has a story because let's face it everybody's driving off-road for some reason or another everybody started somewhere and those are the stories that I want to hear on another note I went inside and I read the news that there was a couple bombs that went off in Boston at the Boston Marathon today and a few people died and a lot of people got injured and I just want to say that my heartfelt prayers go out to the families and the victims of these tragic events. I really hope that they find the person or the people responsible for these tragic events. So I just want to say that I'm thinking about all of you tonight. Stay safe everybody and thanks for joining me. And See me on the road, give me a wave and a thumbs up. Have a good night.